You remember that wicked witch of the West, our Deputy Prime Minister、uh, Krista Freeland. What the hell is wrong with you, you sick bastard? Just incredible! You know the one who decided to freeze everyone's bank accounts for the horrible crime of standing up to an overreaching tyrannical liberal government. And accounts have been frozen. You know, God forbid someone go and protest the government and set up bouncy castles. <laughs> Won't somebody please think of the children? She is pure evil. In my opinion, and many others, and this just happened. Ms. Freeland, how come the IRDC is not a terrorist group? Why is your government supporting Islamo Nazi? What? You did this. What are you doing? You're under arrest for assault. Sir, why are you pushing me? You're under arrest for assault. Who are you? You're under arrest for assault. Please. Police, you're under arrest. How am I under arrest? You bumped into me. You pushed into me. You bumped. I was just scrubbing. I got my credentials here, and you just bumped into me. So excuse Police, me. Police, you're under arrest. What is your name in your bag? What is your name in your bag? You've been told you're under arrest. Why am I under arrest? He 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 blocked my way. What? I was just scrumming、uh, Christian Freeland. I'm a, I'm a police officer. You're under arrest. What is your name and your badge number? Assaulting a police officer. How is that possible? Okay, because you assaulted me three years ago when blackface was happening. You mean I was asking questions aggressively? No, no, your actions. Were, you were almost pushing everybody over. Okay, Lincoln, you got this on video, right? He's saying I'm pushing people over. Yeah, that, that, that's an absolute falsehood. There were, there were feet were shuffling. So now it appeared that way. That's what you're saying, officer. Well, it appeared that was I pushing saw, people. I wasn't. I, I didn't touch a single person. Okay, that was a little bit aggressive for what was happening. Get that. You got it. Got. You're under arrest. Please、okay. take the microphone out of my face. Well, okay, I, I'd like a. Okay, I'd like so an ongoing okay, record of this. Can I have the microphone? Can I have the microphone? Can I have the microphone? Can you give? Take your hand out. Why am I? Why am I under arrest? I'm just doing my job. Stop resisting. You don't need to resist. I don't have. You don't have to say anything. You want? You know the. You know. You know the drill. I am not saying hi, officer. Welcome to Blackface's Canada. This is what they do to journalists. I was merely scrumming Minister Freeland, and a RCMP officer blocked me. And evidently, this is now a trumped-up charge of assault, folks. I didn't come here to cause any trouble. I came here to do my job, and now I'm handcuffed. This, this is your Canada now, folks. You know, this is the Gestapo taking blackface's orders. Outrageous. And meanwhile. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps is not a terrorist organization. Is not a terrorist organization, and these liberals have the audacity to show up at a vigil for、uh, for a plane in which almost 200 people were killed, 57 Canadians, one unborn child, by the way. And look at this: they don't want. It is against the law in Blackface's Canada to ask insensitive questions. Impolite questions. So, a, gov- a Canadian government that props up an Islamo-fascist regime—that's okay. But if you ask questions about that,、uh, that's not okay. This is an absolute outrage. I didn't come here to cause trouble, folks. I just came here to ask questions. You're going to have to back up a little bit. Okay, they're conducting an investigation. That's my cameraman, so he's not doing anything. No, I just want to provide some space so that everybody's safe here. Okay. Every time. She's on TV, or I see her on news clips. Whatever, I just cringe. It makes my stomach turn. Almost as bad, and maybe even worse than when I see Trudeau. And what's up with her twitching? Like, like there's something. She's been doing this for years. A lot. Of, there's a lot of theories out there, but there's something really odd about this woman. She's constantly, constantly twitching. You、Just to let go them know that out going there to be and tell them that、okay? everything's going to be okay. You have to get them ready for the shot again. It's time to tell to everybody the shot is cool. The shot is great. It's time again.、Sure. Got- She's got to be the most hated woman in this country. Even CBC and CTV have picked up the story, and、um, 
actually quite unbiased. Canada's Rebel News is threatening a lawsuit after an altercation between one of its employees and the Deputy Prime Minister's security detail. In a statement, Rebel News says, we have retained legal counsel and expect to sue the RCMP, York Regional Police and Freeland as soon as this week for false arrest, false imprisonment, malicious prosecution and assault. Really crowding uh, the minister, but certainly not in any way threatening her uh, and I just thought it was totally unnecessary uh, by the police officer to actually stop and arrest him. This has become international news now. Uh, even Elon Musk uh, was talking about it on Twitter. Oh, my God. I mean, you know, you know, it, it doesn't matter. With, with people like Freeland and Trudeau, uh, they have their cult followers, which a very small shrinking number of uh, followers, thank, thankfully. But we call them True Anon. So they're the True Anon cult members so it doesn't matter what those two do they'll still support them like trudeau and freeland could literally kill babies in the streets and these true anon supporters would still vote for them i mean it's unbelievable scandal after scandal after scandal with this liberal government never seen it in my lifetime probably never will again once this government's gone christia freeland the deputy prime minister of canada two weeks ago had the unmitigated and i would say quasi demonic gall to announce publicly that $8 a gallon gasoline in Canada was actually probably a good thing because Canadians should be reminded nonstop just how severe the climate crisis is every time they fill up their cars. And the fact that you can't afford to fill up your car anymore puts you into unemployment and food deprivation in relationship to your children. And that's in the rich West. And so when you hear these bloody globalist, globalist utopians talk about the necessity for higher energy costs, you remember that that co comes directly at the cost of the world's poor. What we see happening here is the normalization of this decision by the liberals. And uh, when the liberals banned me from covering their caucus retreat, which was in my own city, there was nary a peep from a lot of legacy media outlets, which I think was absolutely disgraceful. Not because, you know, my, my fragile little ego wanted the support, but because we need to take the uh, principled stand on these issues and you need to apply it to everyone. I, I can't believe they're even living in the same country as I am and breathing the same oxygen I am. And I mean it when I say that. Oh, <laughs>